Hey, 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 y'all. What is going on? How you feeling? How you doing? This is your girl, Patrice. Welcome back to another episode of Pinch of Soul Cooking. We're in the kitchen today, and we're going to be making, basically prepping something for lunch for the next couple of days for myself. So, I have some chicken right here, okay? Some chicken. And I am going to be unboxing um, someone who sent me some seasonings that they make okay so we're gonna unbox this real quick i was trying i was open it just to get it prepared uh because she taped taped this up so well so this is from traces of love okay oh yes i'm happy i'm doing this to the side not around my food because she let me show you okay <laughs> so we're gonna move this over to the side and pour everything out okay so a little card in there it says thank you uh thank you so much patrice for your interest in traces of flavor we hope you enjoy your products and look forward to working with you so traces of flavor so i like that already um so just to give y'all a room there you go okay hopefully it focuses in but i will definitely put the information down in the description box okay so this is how you can find her right there okay so I wanted to try everything out okay and that's why I'm using it on this chicken okay because I wanted to make some Italian chicken but I was like let me add some seasonings to this okay this is a recipe that my mom taught me when I was younger and I was just trying to make something quick and fast and easy this is one of the recipes she showed me it's Italian chicken and all it is is you add me in some Italian dressing y'all that's it so I have that bottle. I'm gonna start with this bottle because I have a little bit left here. My other one off. So this might be just enough because I only have eight. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have nine pieces of chicken legs in here. These are the chicken legs actually that I got from the butcher box. So if you have not checked out that video, you can go check that out. There's also um, a link. I'll put that also down at the bottom where you can actually. Sorry, stuff. Stuff is all on the floor. <laughs> All this, this stuff dropped on the floor, so I'm gonna clean it up. But I'm gonna put the link down there. You can try out the butcher box. I'll be honest with you, I still have to buy um, meat for my family because, like I said, I feed a family of eight, so I still have to get extra meat and things like that. But you can definitely check them out. Right now, they're doing um, free two, I think it's two pounds of ground beef for life. Check them out, okay? So you get that in your box every month for life, okay? All right, so let's see what seasoning she did. Oh, this is so, okay, she gave, oh, this is so cute. So she gave me a little pot um, holder. I like this, that's cute. I'm gonna have to keep that over there. Okay, and then, so the seasoning she gave me was, this is for shrimp, this one right here. And that's cool because I got some stuff on it. So, okay. so get this packaging off of here. So this one says banging shrimp to oh shrimp tacos. Girl, you you read my mind. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can just use this. <laughs> can y'all see that right there? So there you go, right there. I don't know why my phone is not. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's not adjusting itself when it should be. So that's the banging shrimp tacos. This one is so we might be different. Oh, look, I think I'm up. I got you. I got you. Okay, I'm trying to open this up, y'all. The girl is over here struggling. Okay, this one here. I'm trying to make sure I don't do this around my chicken, y'all, because you don't want no flash at the like food. Okay, this one is sizzling steak seasoning right here. So if I can get this plastic off of here, she wrapped this up good y'all. So there ain't no way in heck she's like, you can't tell me you ain't get this stuff good. So sizzling steak. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that sizzling steak. All right, that's a good one. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was amazing too. All right, and this last one here, it says, this one I was looking for. This is the one I was looking for. Okay. This one here, it says, not your mama's fried chicken. <laughs> okay, so that's that's that one. 
not your mama's fried chicken. So now here's the thing I tell people, when you get seasonings, go ahead and taste them, try them out, okay? You're never gonna know if you like something if you don't try it. So just looking, I don't know if y'all can see, just looking at it, I can tell some of the stuff that's in there, right? Finger, taste. <laughs> I know some of the stuff you put in there, so <laughs> just from tasting them. But it's really good. So what I'm gonna do is this one here. I'm gonna actually add some of this onto my chicken right here. Just add a little bit on. Okay, this is how we're gonna taste this and see how it goes. I know it says not your mama's fried chicken, but chicken is chicken in my book. Okay, that's just me. So we add a little bit of this on. Okay, so you can see. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take my Italian dressing and I'm going to just go ahead and put this all around the chicken. I know y'all can't see that, but give me a second because I'm using a different device here today. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. So I'll put, oh yeah, this is going to be another, I ain't got to use the other one because it's going to make some good, mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and use the rest of that. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna end up making some rice with this. So let me show you. Can y'all see that right there? I'm gonna do it this way. Here y'all go. Boom, see that? All right, so that is my chicken, uh, chicken, legs then i added in the um not your mama's fried chicken okay all right and then i added this right here okay the italian dressing and i just put that all over it this is um i'm using my rock crock which is from pamper chef by the way so this rock crock is so versatile that you can put this onto your stove it can go into the oven under the broiler okay this can actually go in the microwave and get this it is dishwasher safe okay but come on now this is so versatile i love this rock crock you can find that in the description as well if you would like to purchase yourself one just know that i will get a small commission because i do sell temperature products okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this cover it up all right and then we're going to get this into the oven Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then we're gonna go ahead, get this into the oven uh, at 300, yes, 350 degrees. I'm gonna get it in there for about 30, 35 minutes, see how it is from there, and we'll see. If it goes longer, I'll definitely let you know, so hang tight. Okay, so while the chicken is cooking, I did wanna come back and I want to taste the rest of these, okay? Don't be afraid, y'all, to taste the seasonings okay don't be scared because this is how you get your flavor this is how you figure out what is going inside of your food okay so the sizzling steak one the thing is i can't really could your girl get in her eyes i can't really read the ingredients at the bottom but that's okay i have that i have a palette a really good one not well, i almost a really good, one, a good enough to identify some at all some ingredients so sizzling steak let's see Okay. Okay. A little, just a little bit of heat. So this one is really good. I like that one right now. I can taste the salt in there. I can. I don't want to say y'all tell y'all everything is in the book because <laughs> I can't read it. But I do get like a little heat, just a little bit back here. So that's gonna be a really good one especially during the summertime or springtime coming up when we get on, onto that grill well y'all know we're in california so we're gonna grill anytime but for sure when we get ready to get on that grill i'm definitely gonna try this out and see if my husband like that steak one okay so again this was the nacho mama's fried chicken i already tasted this one but i'll do it again but this one i actually really i really do like this one mm -hmm. i can 
like this one. So this one definitely see if you can taste taste. Try this one out. Okay, I'll have her website linked in the uh, description below. Definitely, I like this one. This one is the banging shrimp tacos. Okay, the banging shrimp tacos. Let's taste that one. Oh, I like that. See, it has like little extra, oops, I'll clean it up. Like little chunks. Like I like when I have stuff like that into my seasons. I like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be fire. It's going to be fire. <laughs> and it got a little crunch. Oh, I like, this is something for me. I like stuff like that. So, this is going to be good on more than just shrimp, y'all. I'm telling you, I can already... It's already going off on what I'm gonna make with these. So I just wanna take a quick moment and say thank you, Traces of Flavor, for sending these out, okay? It's three different ones. And adding in a little special extra little gift. I thank you so much. I will be using it, okay? So definitely check out her link, okay? She is also, you can find her also on Instagram as well. Um it's traces of flavor also on that and yeah so again one more time one more time hopefully that's i don't know what's going on hopefully y'all can see that if not y'all know what to do go ahead and click that in the description below okay so until then let's wait for this chicken to get done okay y'all so the chicken is done let me just give you a little peek in the chicken there it is nice and done so, just so you know, um, I cooked this actually for um, 30, I did for 30 minutes, okay? Then I checked on, I was like, oh, I wanted to get a little browner. So I went on ahead, took the top off, and let it cook for another uh, 15 minutes. And this is how it turned out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take a piece out and try it out. Okay, this is just like I said, this is one of the first pieces that I just really truly love because it's so simple, so easy. And I sometimes put it in um, the crock pot as well. So let's check this out. Put that to the side. Okay, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Let's see. It's hot too. Let's see. Mm hmm. It was a little hot. <laughs> it just came out the oven. So, yeah, it's so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. So, I definitely could taste her seasoning on this. I told you it had like a little spice to it, just a little tiny bit. And because I'm the kind of person who don't do hot, like spicy, spicy hot. I do mild hot, but this is really good. So I can definitely, definitely be using this in a lot of different dishes. I can tell, even though it says chicken, you could add this to some pork, to some beef. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. So mm. I'm about to make some rice, y'all. Mm -hmm. So you can make this dish right here. Make you some rice or some potatoes. I think it goes better with rice. And take the juice that's in there and take that and pour it all over your rice. I'm telling you. It looks like it's like well because it is the um Italian dressing that's in here. So if you want to, you can actually skim the oil off the top if you prefer. And then go ahead and mix it all up and use that on top of your rice or on top of your uh, mashed potatoes. But that is it for this, y'all. This right here. It was so quick. It was so easy. You can do this at your own. So just go ahead and get you a bottle of Italian dressing. I sometimes use what I think it says Sam's Club. It's called white balsamic vinegar or white balsamic dressing, I believe it is. It's a big, huge bottle, like really, really big. I sometimes switch it out and use that on top of this. So definitely give this a try. Let me know what you think. If you do it in the crock pot, you can put it in the crock pot for about, I believe it's four to six hours on low or six on high or six to eight hours on low. 
Okay, these are chicken um, legs, so it won't dry out like chicken breast, but you can definitely use chicken breast. You can use any kind of piece of chicken, any, any kind of chicken you want to. It's up to you. But just know that chicken breast tends to, the white meat tends to dry out faster if you're cooking it uh, for a long time, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. I hope you do really try this out. It's such a quick, simple recipe, right? Such a quick, this is like lunch for the next couple of days for me. So I'm good for lunchtime, you know, good to go. If you have not joined the family, go ahead and join the family by hitting that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video, which we're going to be doing that a lot more this year. I hope you're ready for that. If you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see us being cooked up inside this kitchen, with Pinch of Soul cooking with your girl Patrice, let me know so we can hook that up this year. All right. Other than that, y'all know the words. Come on, say it with me. Y'all know the phrase. I'll see you in the pinch. Bye.